Hey there everybody, it's Nasty P here, and well, it's time for another video. And this time around, it is time for the 10th Tribal Council of Iron and Survivor India, Fans vs. Favorites. Fans vs. Failures, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, um, I'm sorry I didn't post the 9th uh, Tribal Council, but I had to work that evening when the votes were read. But anyway, um, after the deadlock elimination of Issa, the tribes competed, the remaining seven members competed in the first ever Cards Against Humanity Challenge in Iron Man's Survivor history. Tiffany claimed victory for the second consecutive challenge, and in the upcoming vote, it was a 3-3-1 split vote, but Jacob, reading the possible blindside coming at him, played an idol on himself, which he earned through his targets, and was therefore immune from the three votes sent his way. Therefore, by a 3-1 vote, Michael was eliminated in his stead. Now, at the final six, they competed in the majority rules competition, trying to guess the public opinion of the tribe, and Harry B. came out on top, claiming his first individual immunity challenge victory of the season. Uh, due to this, he will be immune from getting a target at 10 tribal. Alright guys, I have the votes here in front of me. Same rules apply as the last nine tribal councils. Once the vote is read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. If you would like to leave a leaving confessional, please send it to either myself, Bob, or Tim, and we will post it in the viewers' lounge for you. And also, please join the Ponderosa group that I will mail to you um, after the results are read. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it on yourself or anybody else, now would be the time to do so. All right, no idols are being played tonight, guys. I'll read the votes. First vote, Rennie. That's one vote, Rennie. Second vote, Tiffany. It's one vote, Rennie. One vote, Tiffany. Four votes left. Third vote, Kyle. That's one vote, Rennie. One vote, Tiffany. One vote, Kyle. Three votes left. Fourth vote. Rennie. It's two votes Rennie. One vote Tiffany. One vote Kyle. Two votes left. Fifth vote. We're tied again. That's two votes Rennie. Two votes Tiffany. One vote Kyle. One vote left. Sixth and final vote. For the first time in INN's survivor history, we have a three-way tie. Two votes Rennie, two votes Tiffany, and two votes Kyle. Alright guys, in the event of a tie, according to INN Survivor Rules, I will give you an extended deadline. Harry B, Jacob, and Nick, you three will recast your votes. Um, I'm going to be going to bed after I post this video up in the group, so if, if you can send me your votes before about 9 a.m. tomorrow, I will be able to read read them after I post another video. If we remain tied after those votes are read, we go to rocks. If you do not vote before the deadline is up, your vote will remain the same as it was the first time around. Guys, before I go, I just want to say this is by far the craziest and most dramatic merge phase of INN Survivor we have ever had, and I am proud to have all of you on this season. Good luck, guys. Once again, this is a nasty one, signing off.